In this video, we're going to go through how to set up the Reward Manager. From the Navigator screen, I'm going to click Reward Manager here, or I could choose Reward Manager from my Customers menu at the top. Both of these options are going to bring up this screen here. And the first thing I want to do is to turn tracking on. A box is going to pop up and let me know that I'm about to turn on the Rewards program. And that once I do, Point of Sale will begin tracking purchases and rewards for enrolled program members. So I'm just going to say yes. Then I've got a couple of options for the setup. I need to choose what my purchase threshold is going to be, as in how much my customers need to purchase in order to earn a reward, what the amount of that reward is going to be, and that could either be $5 off or 5% off or any other amount of your choosing. Then I have also got uh, what the expiration is, so how long they have to redeem those rewards once they're earned, and what the tracking period is. That would be if you want them to have to purchase $100 within a year, or if they have as long as they want to purchase $100, then you would just check the box for no end date, as I've done here. Um, a couple of other options that you've got is to automatically enroll new customers in the rewards program, to prompt when enroll, to enroll when making sales to non-members, and to inform the cashier when sales rewards are own, earned. I definitely recommend that you check this box. That way the cashier can inform the customer when they earn a reward in addition to the message that will be printed at the bottom of the receipt letting them know that as well. You can also block reward redemption for a number of days if you'd like. So if you want that customer to have to come back five days after they've earned that reward, then you would just enter five into this box here. I'm going to leave it at zero. Another thing to consider, if you've already got some customers set up in your file, you might want to enroll all customers in the rewards program so that way it will go the system will go through and any customers that you've already got in your file it'll go ahead and make them um, a rewards member so I'm gonna pick that option I'm gonna say save here and as you can see now when I pull up my customer list all of my existing customers are now uh, rewards members and the next thing I want to do is make sure that I've got some items eligible for rewards. So I'm just going to pull up my item list. And with the exception of this first service item, all of my other items are eligible for rewards. So as long as the customer is purchasing uh, an item that's eligible for a reward and they are a rewards member, then that uh, information will be tracked and will go towards that $100 threshold. In another video, we go through how to issue and redeem rewards.